Okay guys, we're gonna check in on the experimental bins. Um, flowers, peppers, bread, and normal food. I have been checking in on them. It's been awesome to watch. I'm shocked at what the flowers are doing. So give me one sec, I'll get them out. Okay, I randomly picked the peppers first. I'm not gonna give you guys an underneath view. I just checked and they're not really, there's not a lot going on underneath although it is incredibly cool to watch them. I do immediately notice mites in this bin. This is the old pepper casing from last time. So the first feeding from the first week is here. Then we went a couple weeks without feeding. This is the second feeding. So this was in Anaheim and it is empty, almost. They're still working on the seeds. Um, if I remember right, there was a little um, orange bell. It's like a patio pepper, so they're like tiny bells. I was saving all of these peppers because um, I've heard you can make a good pest spray with hot peppers. Sometimes I throw my chilies in my soup. So they were already in the freezer and they were sacrificed for a good cause. So right here, that's just the Anaheim stem. Right here were two super hot peppers. I don't know if you can see this, but he's like right through it. He's right in it. So they've gutted that too. It's empty. And this one. It's just skin. And then the one I'm waiting to see is the jalapeno. It's over here somewhere. That's a serrano. This was a serrano. They're empty. They just feel like paper skins. Serrano. That one's still got some meat in it. I swear the jalapeno was there. There's not even, like there's barely even skin left. They're all up in it. Again, I'm sure they're going to eat it and that didn't surprise me. I want to see if my numbers go down, if the worm density goes down. They're almost out of food in this bin. And like my frozen, unfrozen bin, this might be the last week. I will wait to see what you guys think. They're all up in the bedding too. They're pretty evenly dispersed in here. Um, I'm not going to add bedding right now. I can see a couple cocoons right here. Just little guys. Remember, these are my red wigglers, so the little eggs will be a little bit smaller, I think. Um, yeah, I lost it. Sorry. Trust me. Trust. I'm going to the uh, bread bin next. You guys know this is my least favorite bin. It is giving me the, the freak outs. Looking at the lid. I'm not seeing any mites. I'm looking in the bedding first. Tons of worms in the bedding. And a lot of castings. They're all hanging out down here. This is like dust. I do add water to it. I make sure these bins have plenty of moisture throughout the week. And it's heavy and wet and moist. They're just not in it. At least at the beginning, they were around the sides. Oh, buddy, I feel like I need to save them. All right, he's a 
life. Brave little souls, my little soldiers. All right, I'm covering that back up. They are not in this food, not in the bread at all. Uh, I had a commenter say that, yeah, I put bread in my food. I just put little pieces at a time. That's really smart. If you're gonna put bread in your food, I'm not saying you shouldn't. That was, that's smart. Just do like everything else, everything in moderation. Um, I think that commenter, I'm so sorry. Hopefully I can look that up before I post this and put the name. I think it was a she, and I think she said, um, I just break it up and feed a little bit at a time. So that's smart. This has been my favorite bin to watch. This is the flowers bin. Um, we did have a couple of fruit flies. There's a couple of mites on the lid. It smells good. That's so weird. I just saw a fruit fly fly out. Um, again, I did freeze these. As weird as that is. I wanted everything going in our bins to be the same. And it's a little bit dry in here. I'm gonna add some water. They are in the bedding. But check this out. They are loving these flowers. That makes me so happy. You have no idea why, but that's cool. I guess I just, I mean, I put everything that I pull, weeds, deadheading, I put it in my compost bin outside of my big one, but I've never thought of bringing flower heads in for my bins. Again, same reason I don't bring leaves in because I don't want, sorry, might crawling up my arm. I don't want, um, any outside bugs in my house. Not that I'm grossed out by it, I just like, I'm putting my food scraps in here and I work in this craft room and I don't want things flying around and I also think they belong outside, they're happier outside. So I'm not freaked out that there are bugs in my system. I just don't, like I'm just trying to get rid of my kitchen waste, that is my number one goal. And if I start bringing everything outside inside I'm pretty sure sweet Tyler will tell me I can sleep out there too just kidding he won't this is the normal food bin I'm not seeing any mites oh this bedding is really wet and I forgot to add moisture to the flowers bin um they're in it Avocado does not seem to break down very well. That shocks me because it's always so like gooey. If it's just a couple days old. I think these are all mites. They're not moving yet. Dudes, wake up. Yeah, they're moving. They're mites. Um, so of course the, the food in this bin is getting devoured. They are digging it. We got another warm banana going on in here. Um, they seem happy. The ecosystem is thriving. Um, there are a lot of castings. There's plenty of happy worms. So kind of a fail on the bread side, although as I pointed out, probably too much bread. And then the peppers are winning. I would be interested to see how many worms are actually in there since I did weigh out all of these worms before I started. So I might do a follow up just to tell you guys how it went, like how many, what was, I'm not gonna give you the weight because I don't think that's a fair test because food was a lot different, differently. I'm so, I can't even talk. Like, bleh. It was so cool. Um, yeah, a handful of flowers doesn't weigh as much as a handful of rotten bananas. So, let me get untongue tied and I'll get these guys put back, get some moisture in the flowers bin. Um, if you do want to see one more week of this, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I think this was, this was pretty cool. Um, I will, 
try to put a follow-up with the weight and the count. But I'm done with this for today. Thank you so much for checking out Anarchy Worm Bin. I would not be here without you. Yeah, I would be. I would just be talking to myself in my basement. Love you.